In this video, I'm going to talk about guest posting. Guest posting is a great way to build backlinks, establish yourself as an authority in your niche, and to get content for your own blog. Now, there are three steps to writing effective guest posts. Now, step number one is you've got to do your homework. So you need to check out other blogs in your niche. You want to read them. You want to see how they rank. You know, do they encourage people to comment? Does it look like they accept guest posts? You want to do all that and you know, stick around and read the blogs and make sure that the two of you are going to be a good fit for one another. And then step two, you want to be polite. You want to contact the website owner and inquire as to whether they accept guest posts or not. Some do, of course, some don't. Some will only accept guest posts from people they know. And if they do accept guest posts, then ask them what they're looking for. It's very important. Don't just submit an article. That's spamming and chances are it's going to be deleted straight away. And you want to have some examples of your writing handy. Uh, or better still, you want to direct them to your own blog so that they can read some of the posts that you've got there. OK, step number three, you want to write your post. And first and foremost, you want to make sure that it fits with the blog's writing style. If the writing style is fairly formal and traditional, then you want to make sure that you write your article that way. If the blog style is fairly upbeat and contemporary, where with lots of slang and stuff like that, then you want to make sure that, again, your article fits in with that. If it's British English, you want to make sure that you run it through a British English spell checker beforehand. If it's American English, the same applies. Run it through an American English spell checker just to make sure that you've got all the spelling right and that everything fits in with the blog's writing style. Then you want to optimize it for the right keywords. And it's a good idea to discuss this with the blog's owner ahead of time to make sure that you've got the right keywords, the keywords that they're looking for uh, that's going to bring traffic to their blog. Then you want to submit it to the webmaster or webmistress first, and then you want to make any changes that they deem necessary. You, know, you might think that you've written a fantastic article, the sort of article that would be absolutely perfect on your own blog, but they will absolutely hate it and you'll have to do it again. So, you know, you have to develop a bit of a thick skin when you write for other people. And then you want to stick around after the post has been posted and reply to any comments. You want to answer any questions and so on. You know, don't just simply write it and walk away and leave the blog site owner to uh, sort out any questions. You want to make sure that you are there to give some sort of after sales service, if you like. And you don't want to ask for payment for your article or for your guest post. All you want is a backlink, a backlink to your website. And you want to have it linked to your blog's main URL. Uh, rather than to a specific page or a specific article, because that's going to help your search engine rankings. And a good way to find blogs that allow guest posting is to simply do a search in Google. If you put in your niche and then blog guest posting, and for this example, I'm using the fitness niche, you'll find lots of blogs or lots of uh, directories and lists of blogs which allow guest posting. And the thing to do is to visit these blogs, read the content, get an idea of the sort of style that they have, the sort of thing they're looking for, and then contact the owners as previously discussed. And this is a good way of not only getting traffic to your site for no financial outlay whatsoever, but it's also a way of boosting your reputation in your niche. OK, what if you want to do things the other way around? How about getting people to guest post on your own site? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that your blog ranks highly. 
because, after all, no one is going to want to waste their time by writing an article or a blog post that's going to go on a blog that no one's going to see. Because, after all, anyone who's going to submit a guest post on your blog is going to want to do so for the same reasons that you want to submit a guest post on somebody else's blog. So you want to make sure that your blog ranks highly and that it's going to be worth their while. And you want to let it be known that you accept guest posts. And you can do that by either stating so on your blog or you can get in contact with some of the people who run directory sites like we just looked at that uh, list blogs that accept guest posts. And you want to check out potential guest posters before giving them the go ahead. You know, you want to make sure that they are up to the job. You want to check out other articles that they've written. And if they have their own blog, you want to make sure that it's a good one. You want to make sure that it's getting plenty of traffic and that the articles that are on their blog, uh, the postings that are on their blog are worth reading. You know, you don't want to have time wasters because if somebody puts something that is an inferior post on your blog, it's going to reflect badly on you. And you want to reject anything that's not up to standard. You know, don't spare people's feelings. If it's not good enough, you want to say so and reject it because it's your reputation that's on the line. It's your blog that it's going to be reflecting on. And of course, if you do have to reject something, then you want to tell the guest poster why and you want to give them the opportunity to make corrections. After all, if something is being written on somebody else's blog and it's acceptable, sometimes it's going to be different. Your standards are going to be different from theirs. So these are the sort of things that you want to bear in mind when you are both wanting to guest post on somebody else's blog and when you want to get someone to guest post on your blog.